Hello and welcome to the winner's presentation. Today is November 16, 2022, and I am Salvo La Rosa, the Chief Scientific Officer for the Children's Tumor Foundation and also directors of the Hackathon, the Hack for NF. So today we will um, announce the winners. It has been already a week since uh, the projects were submitted. We are very, very excited to share with you who are the winners and um, and we were very pleased with the quality of the submissions overall. So thank you all for your participation. Um, we definitely will hear from you again because there are so many of you that did excellent job and we want to keep track of um, your progress or if you, if you want to continue working on this um, project. So um, I have a few technical um, things to say about the meeting. It's been recorded and it will be available as a registered webinar. So you can go back and grab a screenshot <laughs> for your for your team if you want a prize or if you want to um, you know uh, use it for future reference. Um, and there are also uh, closed captions available through the Zoom CC button so that you can activate it. For today, the agenda is very straightforward. I will have a couple of slides um, to talk about you know, this event in general, um, what were the stats, what we saw. Uh, this also put into context uh, the effort that you guys made. And thanks to those who made this event possible. We have quite a few representatives from our sponsors uh, here that will also be the presenters of the award. And then we'll dive into the winners. So we'll have, um, you know, announce the winners for the challenge one, two, and three. We also announce the best project page, the best use of data, and best use of the P precision medicine platform and then we'll also announce incubation prizes that we assigned. So sit down, uh, take your popcorn, and, and we'll start. Thank you. So um, here we are. So this is the fourth event, Barb, am I right? Right, that, we, that CTF has run. Uh, we started in 2019 with an in-person over the weekend in San Francisco in conjunction with our conference. <clears throat> and then in 2020, 2021, we pivoted to uh, in, in, in virtual event that was a multi-week um, event as well. This year, we had a little bit of a try to uh, bring it back in person for the kickoff in New York. It was small attendance, but we definitely had a very robust attendance from globally with 303 participants that registered for the event. Out of those 135 connected to the Slack channel and 52 of you actually were involved in active projects. So this is um, awesome. As a result, we pitched 15 problems. There were like 22 themes that formed at some point and had a page open on the platform as, as a project team page. And then we qualified eight as full submissions. So there were a few teams that submitted, but their submission wasn't complete or was um, not very uh, thorough. It didn't cover some parts, so they didn't qualify. But eight of you um, qualified and those submissions were very robust. In general, uh, the, the, the hackathon this year was mainly composed of four challenges. One was a wild card ch challenge, but we didn't have any submissions there. But so we received submission for three challenges and we involved 11 mentors, eight judges, nine people from the organizers and nine sponsors and data partners. And here is the list of the mentors and judges that took part. So thank you so much to all of you for your hard work, mentoring and talking to the teams throughout the three weeks that the event ran, but also to the judges that you know took a look at the projects in, deep, in depth. And last week until yesterday, 
And um, thanks to their evaluation, we now have um, you know, a, a ranking list of, of projects that actually won. So thank you all for your expertise and participation. On the other hand, uh, we had a team here at the Children's Tumor Foundations that looked over um, the planning together in partnership with Be My App. So um, long time runner and, you know, and collaborators for, for running these hackathons. So thank you all for um, you know, helping us managing all of the logistics and all of the, what is still to come for um, you know, um, prize assignments and everything that still needs to be done for, for this event. And thank you to our sponsors and data partners. Uh, in particular to Alexion, um, AstraZeneca Rare Disease, Recursion, and Springworks Therapeutics. But thank you also to NTAP, the Neurofibromatosis Therapeutic Acceleration Program at John Hopkins for sponsoring one of the incubation projects. And thank you to all our partners from the AACR Project Genie that allowed us to use um, a very exclusive and before it being published version of their Genie database. Sage by the network, longstanding collaborator of CTF for the data portal and the NF Open Science. And then of course the NF data portal, the Open Science Initiative, Open Cravat and the collaboration of Rachel Karkin from John Hopkins University. Thank you so much. And then the collaboration with the precision medicine platform that was uh, provided by the American Heart Association. Thank you all um, for your contributions and time and resources. Okay, so now uh, this is how we're gonna progress. I will, um, this is the, the, the sequence of the awards presentation. We'll start with the challenge winners. And for each of the tracks that you see listed here, we have one presenter. So before we reveal the name of the winner, I will have a slide. I will also show the name of the person that is going to make the presentation. And then I will ask this person to say a few words or to say, you know, what this project, why was presented. Then we'll reveal the name of the, of the, of the winner. And then if there is anyone that is actually um, from the team, you are free to come off mute and say a few words if you want. So this is the sequence of things. So we'll do for the first, then the second and the third in the sequence. And then we'll go through the best collection uh, of use of the platform, documentation and use of data. And last but not least, we'll announce the incubation winner. So stay with us until the end. Maybe you won a prize that is just in the last category. You never know. Okay. So here we go for challenge one. And I just remind everybody that the challenge one was connected to the Genie NF tumor identification and classification challenge. We have Kerry Kali, director of clinical operation of recursion that will say a few words about this uh, challenge and the team that actually won this challenge. So Kerry, if you wanna come off mute. Great, thanks so much, Salvo. Um, so hi everyone, as Salvo said, my name is Carrie Kelly and I am a Director of Clinical Operations at Recursion. Recursion is the clinical stage biotechnology company harnessing technology to comprehensively map biology and chemistry and industrialize drug discovery and the pursuit of novel therapeutics. As part of our mission at Recursion, we support CTF in their mission to find a cure for NF2. I'm so glad to be here today to present the award. Um, to the winning team for challenge number one, um, which as Salvo said, is the Genie NF Tumor Identification and Classification Challenge. The question was to use the Provide Genomics Evidence Neoplasia Information Exchange, Genie, data sets provided to develop a new framework that accurately uses genomic data to classify tumor samples for neurofibromatosis-related tumors. Um, the data sets included early access to version 13 of the Genie data set for hackathon registrants. Participants were encouraged to also use other data, external data sets, but must um, include the Genie data set in their project. 
So Salva, do we say the name or the example of um, what ahead, the- Go ahead, yes. Okay, so without further ado, um, the winning project is the next Gen LP searching for structure in tumor genetic profiles with techniques from natural language processing. Um, yay, congratulations team. Um, and this team built, built tumor sample embeddings by treating the mutated genes in a tumor sample like a sentence and applying techniques from natural language processing. They then use these embeddings to predict a tumor's cancer type and to find structure in the genetic profiles of tumor samples. This structure can be used to identify NF tumor subtypes and to explore their relationship with more prevalent cancers. The team also used the TensorFlow projector to create an interactive tool to explore and visualize clusters or threads of interest by selecting different variables. So congratulations to the next Gene NLP winners and the team is listed on the slide. Congrats, everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Curry. So Gabriel, Harry, William, Kartika, I don't know if any one of you is here and wants to say a few words, please do. Hello, I'm here. Thank you so much, uh, Carrie, for the uh the description and the confetti on the slide. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I just like to thank all the, all the organizers, um, especially the people that we, the mentors that we met with, like Rachel Karkin and Robert Alloway and, um, everybody on Slack was really supportive and really fast with questions uh, that we needed answered. Um, especially Holly from the, uh, AHA precision medicine platform and yeah, the genie team, which that, that data set was a lot of fun to learn about and, um, there's a lot of stuff that I think that we can still uh, work on. Um, and the team, Hari and William and Karthika, thanks for um, contributing to this project. It was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, guys. So congratulations. Okay, so we move next to the challenge number two. And you'll see the pattern is going to be exactly the same. So we'll have a presenter. And this is challenge to remind, so our presenter, it's my pleasure to introduce you to uh, Jitesh Rana. Jitesh is Executive Director of Medical Affairs, Therapeutic Lead for Mirdametinib at Springboard Therapeutics. So welcome, Jitesh. Thank you, Salva, and thank you to CTF for allowing me to be a part of this, uh, this work. I mean, this is exciting work. Uh, when I think about it, uh, you know, of, from a clinical side, and then there's a lot of activities that you cannot really have experience on doing just clinical work. Uh, and I thought about what has been happening uh, that is making these connections come together. And what I was reminded of was uh, probably the age of enlightenment about 300 years ago, when the coffee houses were uh, uh, kind of you know coming to the scene and people drank coffee and the intellectuals shared um, their theories and their work, and that actually solved the many problems which could have could not have been solved otherwise. So this I see as one of those platforms in which people are able to solve problems which otherwise individually are very very hard to tackle. Uh, many a times, the medical conditions are largely limited to patients and the healthcare providers and uh, do not benefit uh, from all of the other things that uh, are possible, the latest scientific approaches that are beyond the capability of an individual researcher. Uh, for this particular challenge, I congratulate their team for their work on challenge number two, in silico classification and prioritization of NF1 variants. Uh, this project used publicly available data sets and several predictors ranging from genome level to protein, two-dimensional and three-dimensional structure to predict variant deleter uh, deleteriousness. I'm optimistic that the, what they have planned uh, for future on their DITTO model is going to really help uh, researchers and clinicians uh, in, and most of all the patients uh, with NF1. Uh, so congratulations to Ditto NF uh, for NF team. Yeah, congratulations. Is there anyone from the Ditto team? Thank you so much for, for the presentation and the introduction of the award. Is anyone from the team? I see Tarun probably is there, but maybe someone else. But if you want to come and say a few words, thank you. Yes, I'm here. Thank you so much. Um, really thank the organizers. Um, and 
those um, webinars from Open Cravat and Precision Medicine Platform were the key for our team. Um, it really played like a streamlined annotating from Open Cravat and using Precision Medicine Platform to filter those huge data sets. Um, thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Tarun. So, and thank you, Jitesh. So we'll move forward to the challenge number three. Challenge number three in silico drug target screening for an F. And for this prize, we have Shane Arnold. Uh, Shane is NF1 Global Medical Director at Alexion. Welcome. Uh, thank you for the invitation and the opportunity to present this award today. Uh, on behalf of Alexia on AstraZeneca rare disease, we are, share our commitment to uh, finding cures for NF1, NF2, and, and, and schwannomatosis. So um, the award I'm presenting today uh, is for in silico drug target screening for NF. Um, as you're aware, Alexion is the only company with a FDA-approved uh, therapy for NF, in a pediatric NF1PN. Uh, the question was, use variant gene expression or drug screening data from different sources and apply already published or new methods to predict drug targets that could be helpful in treating manifestations of NF1, NF2, or schwannomatosis. The data sets were publicly accessible drug screen data on tumors, process variant, and gene expression data from different sources, NF data portal, C bio portal, Genie, Pediatric Brain Tumor Atlas, and other data sets that you can find. And shall I announce the winner? Yeah, go ahead. The winner is NF1 drug targeting. And you see the team listed below. Um, the team focused on identifying a list of possible drugs matched with genetic variants, biochemical assays, and clinical presentation data to support selection of potentially useful drugs for NF1. Drug sensitivity screenings were analyzed, identifying a list of chain drugs classified by class targets of interest along with a hypothesis of chromosome 8 changes. The classification could differentiate drug sensitivity and resistance profile of malignant cancers, including malignant peripheral nerve sheet tumors or MPNST, the malignant version of neurofibroma tumors. And I think this research is going to go a long way to identifying potential uh, drug candidates that can be useful for treating NF1 and MPNSTs. Outstanding work. Thank you, Shane. Thank you so much. Is there anyone from the team that wants to say a few words? Yes, thank you so much. Uh, I have to say this was a very ambitious challenge and it was just a, a ton of fun to really um, dig into it. Um, I think the, uh, I'm very hopeful the, the, the best is yet to come. I think there's a lot of work still in the field we need to do, um, but very excited and thank you so much for the opportunity. This is a lot of fun. Thank you guys. Okay, so we'll move forward. So thank you to all the presenters. Uh, we'll have more presenters, I think, at the end, but thank you guys. We'll, we'll move to the next prize. And we're looking at the best use of the precision medicine platform. Uh, a few words here needs to be said about the collaboration with American Heart Association that is a supporter of the Children's Tumor Foundation Neurofibromatosis Hackathon. They allowed us to make this platform available uh, to, the, to the participants so that uh, they had access to cloud computing. And the platform is not just for um, you know, uh, studies associated with American Heart Association, but it can be used across spectrum of many different disease areas. Uh, so the a few teams actually use this a limited amount of teams use this this um, this um, service, but uh, there were like in particular two teams that made a very good use, and we already heard from them. So I just want to mention Next GNLP and Dito for NF. They both won best use of PMP platform. Price is $1,000 each. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Your use of the platform was outstanding. You made, um, I think, 
the 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 way that you could actually get to those results and work in prototypes and preliminary conclusion was due to the cloud computing power that you had access to so um i'm glad that this actually worked well and you made the best use for it anything do you any any comment on on the platform itself uh, from any of the two teams i can go quickly um i think it was great yeah it was we had a lot of we we had members on our team that didn't have the computing resources at home to deal with our data sets and some of them while not enormous would still not fit safely or neatly into a laptop's memory or even a desktop's memory so um, being able to put the data sets up there, have everybody log into the workspace and be able to have access to that compute was really uh, something that allowed people to participate that wouldn't have otherwise been able to participate. Right. Yeah, to add to it, um, thanks. Thank you to Holly and the team. Um, when, I, when we requested more resources, they immediately um, jumped up our limits. Um, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you guys. Congratulations for use of this and you know for the not use but winning this prize. Okay. So now we move forward for best documentation. So one word about this award, we envision this as a way um that we want this project to live even after they are complete so that you can always refer back to what was done and other researchers can maybe get inspiration from the work that has been done. So it's fundamental for us to have a thorough documentation of what you guys achieved and what you, what you did, what your hypothesis was, and what was the methods that you use in the analysis. So there were a few teams that did an excellent job in um, reporting back on many different platforms. Uh, including the uh, the platform that we had provided. Um, and by the way, your project is going to be mirrored on our data portal in the hackathon section. So we'll make sure that you also can get a, a, a DOI, so a digital object identifier that is going to be persistent with your project that you can put in your reference and anybody can reference your projects in the future. So the best documentation anyway goes to artificial intelligence for nf congratulations guys i think uh for this team i just spend a few words because they they did an excellent job in on on the platform but they also did an excellent job across other platforms especially in the github repository they also created a web app uh with full of information and very self-explanatory uh so the team really nailed down on documentation um i don't know is there anyone from team ai for an f that wants to say a few words maybe we have none <laughs> of the team members and i forgot to put the names here i'm apologize for that okay so congratulations artificial intelligence for an f I will move to the best use of data. So best use of data is a prize that we want to give to that team that really nailed down and make a unique use of the data uh, to in infer a, a combination of different data sets. Um, so the prize is presented by me again. And um, without further ado, I just want to mention drug discovery for an F1. Congratulations to Team NF Buster. Do we have someone from the team? I also want to mention this team really did an excellent presentation. Uh, probably the most effective presentation and the three minutes um, by this uh, I think father and daughter team, which really um, was very well done for a young um, person as, you know, she's still at, at school, I guess. So 
Thank you, uh, Dr. Discovery for an F1. If nobody is here to say a few words, but um, we'll move on. Okay. And here we are with the incubation prizes. Um, I want to introduce the person that is uh, presenting on behalf of, of NTAP. So this prize is presented by the Neurofibromatosis Therapeutic Acceleration Program at John Hopkins. And we have Barb Gallagher, uh, VP of Development and Corporate at Children's Tumor Foundation. So Barb, right. tell us everything about this prize. <laughs> Well, I'll do my best. <laughs> um, but uh, congratulations, everyone who's won so far. And thank you to all of our sponsors and supporters who are on the call and helping us present today. Um, I'm happy to present our first incubation prize um, of $5,000 on behalf of NTAP, who has been a longtime supporter and partner of the hackathon. Um, we have heard from this team already. They uh, tackled challenge number two. Um, they integrated machine learning and computational biology approaches to support variant classification and prioritization uh, to provide definitive diagnoses for patients with NF1. Um, and the comments across the judges were pretty consistent, um, but I'll just you know summarize this one, I think uh, summarized it best. Uh, the development of better tools for classifying genetic variants using both in silico and real world phenotypic data is critical. There are currently many methods of doing this, but this team presents a clear path and a very useful app for pulling this data together using machine learning techniques. So I'd like to congratulate Ditto 4NF on winning this incubation prize, and we really look forward to seeing what you do next. Congratulations again. I mean, it was overall one of the best projects, really. And we feel together with NTAP and I think all of the other sponsors, that your incubation um, proposal was very uh, important to be completed. So we really want to make sure that you, um, that your team is is able to to do some or achieve some of the things that you guys propose because I think it would make a difference. So thank you so much, and congratulations. <laughs> Is anyone else, for, apart from you, Tarun, on, on team? I mean, but you, you're free to say anything. Yeah, I don't have words to say. <laughs> but thank this you This is so very much. amazing. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. So no, we're we're really looking forward to to see what your project will will deliver. I think your 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 incubation is is ambitious, but is is doable. So um, we we can have some um, discussion and support from the judge and from from the mentors to complete uh, everything with the assistance that you need, so that we can put this tool on the radar of uh, variant classification. Okay. And here we have the last prize that is going to be presented by me. <laughs> you know me already. So I am, what I want to say about this group, I want to take some of the comments that the judges actually put there. Um, so this group has done a good job of addressing the challenge and provided a list of drug candidates for both benign and malignant NF1 tumors. The malignant analysis focused on a specific copy number change. The results can be generalizable for any type of tumor with this copy number variation. I think this approach is sound and well-designed, and the team is aware of the limitation of their project design. It seems that the chromosome 8Q specific drugs may be applicable for many MPNSTs, though I would like to see a more extensive analysis of the prevalence of the variants in MPNSTs and other NF1-related tumors. Also, those are specific. Um, I Anyway, some of the judges worried that the interpretability of chromosome 8 gain is difficult since this phenomena may be an artifact rather than a driver in cancer and has diverse biology. Multiple sarcoma have the same phenomena, for instance. It's been difficult to pin down the driver though, and the driver may not be widely applicable. So... For these reasons, and because there are many questions still to be answered, and because the hypothesis was very well done and the work ahead has 
a lot of potential. We would like to give a second incubation to NF1 drug targeting. Thank you and congratulations to the team. Thank you so much. Um, I, this has really been a team effort. Um, it was all hands on deck for us and we really appreciate it. I wanna give James an opportunity to introduce um, uh, you know, uh, his part and, and thank you so much, James, for your collaboration and everybody else on our team as well. Great. James, are you here? <laughs> Wanna say a few words? I see him with us, he might have audio issues, but um, I know he's very grateful. His contribution was largely in that chromosome 8Q uh, segment. So he's very innovative and we're excited to continue working with him. And, and, uh, and there's a lot of potential ahead and we're very excited to continue. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys. Congratulations again for your incubation prize. And then I want to make also a few special mentions to the other three teams that didn't uh, get a prize or they didn't, you know, cap the top tier of scoring of the judges. And this is Team CG Health with Srinath, Veda V, Harvin Pranav and Kumundra P and Helen V. So thank you guys for your project. Um, it was scored well, but didn't make the cut to the top, but we really appreciate your, your effort and hopefully you will be able to continue working on this. The second team I want to mention is using deep learning uh, to uh, predict pathogenicity of NF1 germline missense mutation. And this is a team from Isaac Dimitrovsky and Laura Spitz. I have to mention that both Isaac and Laura are um, always compete to our hackathons and they are very dedicated to NF. So thank you so much guys for your contribution. Your project was almost there, but we would like to, you know, to talk to you and, and see if we can move your incubations too in the future. And the other team, NF1 Kami, with Ulysses Santa Maria and Brian Mustafa. Guys, you also did an excellent job. So congratulations. Your, your, your project really um, was impressive, um, even though you didn't reach that level of, of scoring. But uh, again, um, I, all of us, the judges and the mentors are here to, to talk to you. And we would like to see if there is any update or anything that you propose would we'll love to see if we can implement it somehow. So stay in touch and, and, and let us know if there are any updates on your project. So this is my last slide. I just want to thank you all for participating. Thank you to all the sponsors, all the collaborators, all of you that did the hard work of, you know, getting this three weeks of hard work. Um, as a, as a small token of appreciation, watch out for an email from Angela. Uh, she will ask for you for, for a size of your t-shirt. So we'll have a, a free hand, ha, hack for NF t-shirt available for you. And also uh, watch out for uh, another email that will ask for uh, information about how to uh, receive your prize. So until the next event, thank you so much for joining our hackathon. We hope we can do this event again next year. Uh, and yeah, it's been a pleasure to be to be here and talking to all of you. Any any other word from my team or Barb or anyone? I guess just to reiterate, thank you all. You know, I know you all took time to you know time out of your busy lives to to work on these projects, and we really appreciate it. And we appreciate all the support of our sponsors as well. So really, we thank you so much. You're really going to help move the needle forward. Great. Thank you.